Hello my soccer universe, unbelievably the new Premier League season is upon us and I thought let's do a collection video as I'm preparing for my reviews and so on and showing you uh, one jersey for each team in the Premier League caveat of the teams that I have a jersey from which is currently at 13 should have been much better but last season and I made a video about relegated teams I lost three teams so yeah, it's a little bit more sparse, this Premier League collection. I hope it will get better uh, during the season. There are a few teams that I have kind of earmarked for that. Also, I did a video like that two seasons ago, um, which I'm linking up here. And there will be a few jerseys that I have double because of certain teams I only have one jersey. But for the other ones, I tried to definitely come up with a new jersey. In tenancy, it's the most recent jersey that I got from the team. However, there are a few notable exceptions as well. And so let's run through the teams that I have in my collection that are playing in the 23-24 Premier League season. And I'm going to start on the bottom of the last season standing and then going to the top. So you see Manchester City last. Okay, I would say we get started with Everton. Uh, they finished... Uh, the last from uh, last not relegated team, and I decided to show you this 20, uh, 21 away jersey that I got through a mystery exchange with Andy from Andy's Football Shirts. Check his channel out uh, on Instagram. And I have to say, I really like this jersey the moment I saw it. I think this is among the first collection for uh, Everton, uh, for from Hummel for Ever Everton. I actually really like the simple sponsor. I like the crest a little bit differently colored. It's long sleeve. It's really, really nice. Uh, it's a really beautiful shirt. I have to say the colors fit quite well together. So this is the Everton jersey that I wanted to show you. Next up is one of the most recent additions to the collection. Uh, a gift from a fellow subscriber. And you can see that video that I just um, posted this week. We talk, of course, this really nice Nottingham Forest jersey by Macron. Meanwhile, they are with Adidas. Um, I have to say this jersey, at first it looks kind of plain, but uh, if you look at it, there's a few, uh, a little bit shadow striping in there. And my favorite, of course, are the two stars uh, here on the back side. It also has a very interesting color that kind of, I have not seen something like this uh, before that it's really it fits like nicely together it's a beautiful shirt I have to say and I'm very pleased to have that one also as I said it's a European champion former European cha champion so it's always nice to have that in the collection next up is West Ham and I decided to show you this 2008 away jersey that I got just ahead of the um, uh, conference league final I knew that West Ham is going to play in a away jersey and I was looking for, for one and yes it should have been probably a white one but I actually really like this one. I had this in my uh, wanted list on Wilhaben for quite a while. I really like that you know the blue takes center stage but you have the other two clubs colors here as a uh, chest band. The sponsor and only 2018 season because uh, this sponsor went bust so then for 2009 they went and with a betting sponsor. Uh, is a little bit beaten up. Uh, it's also because of the underlying pattern. As I said, it's a long sleeve, which is really cool. And it also has, like my Lyon jersey, uh, this really interesting pattern here on the back, which I find is really, really cool. But this is a great jersey. Absolutely love it. So, yeah. Now, the next one is Wolves. And you have already seen this jersey in the other video. Uh, it was also a gift from uh, someone who I met when I was still regularly on Twitter, or X as it's called now, and he just contacted me. I want two of those, do you want to have that one? Sure, sure. And it's still beyond me that people are giving, gifting me jerseys. It's it's the greatest feeling that one can It's such a big validation. This one is one of those. I actually really like this jersey. If it wouldn't have had this ugly sponsor here, I think it would be a really great looking jersey overall. Uh, with the pattern in there with the wolves. It's cool. So, there you go. <laughs> Next up in the table is, believe it or not, Chelsea. We are already at Chelsea. That's how bad of a season they had. 
I'm not showing you my most recent Chelsea jersey. No, I'm showing you my first ever Chelsea jersey, which is this really nice 99 to 2001 Chelsea home shirt. Very thick, very heavy umber material, but I love it for it. It was, when I got it, I thought it's a little bit too simple, but I think this house had stood a little bit a test of time, also not the old Chelsea crest. I never really got what this pattern is supposed to be, uh, but I always liked this, the umbra diamonds, like you know, tone in tone, running down here. And then, of course, the best part of this jersey is the name set, Gianfranco Zola. <laughs> you can see it's a little, little bit old, it has scattered quite some dust, maybe. Some cleanup is needed. I also find this very interesting, this little tag where you could uh, technically hang it and it says Chelsea. It is a very well liked and well worn jersey of mine. Uh, even on my one visit to Ch Stamford Bridge, I was actually wearing this jersey, so uh, pretty cool. Next up, another jersey that I've already shown in the previous video, which is Palace, the 1516 home. Also, this was among my first Macron shirts. I got this together with a Lazio shirt and a few others. Uh, and it was just an add-on because it was cheap. Uh, I think from classic football, it was really cheap, cheap to add And so I, 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 I added it in and I ended up liking it quite some. Really like the quality of the crest. The one thing, again, the sponsor is ugly. The sponsor is really ugly, but other than that, this is a really, really great shirt. Uh, I like the way it fitted and, and it's, on, it's really, really nice stuff also the uh, the half half look barcelona half half look pretty cool with the yellow it's great it's a really really lovely shirt i have to say uh again there have been better uh, pal uh palace shirts and i really really would wish a different sponsor uh especially since it's getting cracked also a little bit because you know i have been wearing this jersey for a few a few times but yeah hey there you go so my palace shirt Okay, now we're getting to the top teams. We have only one missing, and it's a very notable one uh, for sure, but I'm not missing a Spurs shirt. Uh, this is my second Spurs home jersey. This is the one from 21-22 season. I have to say, when this was released, I thought, how boring. It's just white. It's just white. It has the, the, uh, you know, the crest, the swoosh, and it has the red sponsor, which yeah, does not look quite right for a Spurs shirt. However, I remember seeing this, and I bought this at the end of, of the season for, uh, for cheap, but I remember seeing this and, th and thinking, actually, with the entire uniform being so simple, this really, really looks nice, and it was not that, 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 that expensive to get, so I'm actually quite happy to have this one. Yeah, very simple, maybe it could have used some navy sleeve cuffs. It's the ugly color from Nike back, back then, but since it's all white, I don't mind it. It's actually, this is a much, much better jersey then I would have given it credit for initially. Okay, next up, we're now with the European teams. Yeah, West Ham also made a minute to Europe, but Aston Villa. Yeah, this Aston Villa jersey is still the same that I've shown you uh, before. It's the 13-14 home jersey, back when Andreas Weimann was playing for, for them. Um, I have to say it's also one that I really enjoy. It's not your classic Aston Villa shirt, but it goes back to the um, uh, European Cup winning season where they had a similar home shirt they won the European Cup of course in a white jer uh, jersey but it's a quite quite a nice detail especially like this part here uh, met you know mi mi mixing up a, a little bit also the color it was this is a typically Macron style from the time and also this part here is a little bit weird but you know overall it's a nice jer uh, jersey even the sponsor actually fits quite nicely on it and yes I would need at least a Villa away jersey I would think of course, the one European team that I, uh, one team that has qualified for Europe that I don't have is Brighton, and I'm working on it, but it's not that easy. Uh, it's rather expensive in, in a way. So we're going next up. Finishing fifth last season was Liverpool, and I decided to show you this one from uh, 2021, uh, where they have had, of course, the championship winning patches, although this was not a great se season for them. It was the first one for Nike. I have to say, I was initially not so sold on the colors with the teal uh, on there, but I think it may make sense. But I think I'm a little bit more bugged by the white sides. I think if this was all red, I think this would look better. But overall, it's a nice shirt. And most importantly, I saw this a year ago at a local sports center. They were selling it for, for 18 and I said, okay, that's a sign. I got to get this one. I got the patch applied. So uh, quite happy 
with that one. Uh, I think I like it better the longer I have it, or the long, the more I saw it, the more I liked it. Mm. Okay, the next three, all Champions League team, but I'm among uh, the best buys that I've made over the past year, year and a half. For Newcastle, I'm not showing you the home jersey that I showed you last year. No, I'm going with the away jersey from the 95-96 season, which I got for an incredible 20 euros. Uh, I see actually 96-97 season, the one before that, but it was even better. But for 20 bucks, I think it was 20, 20 or 25. I got it relatively cheap. It's a really, really cool shirt. Uh, it's a 990 shirt. Yes, it has a few stains in here on the Newcastle Brown Ale. And if you have any idea of how I could get those stains out, I'll be very happy. I've tried even with a toothbrush, but you know, maybe I need to work some more. I really like the quality of the logo. It has kind of this denim look. It's a very uh, heavy, very patterned material in there again. Um, totally love the Adidas striping and how the way the Adidas stripes come come across. 90s Adidas is something really really nice and this is a great exponent of, of that one and yes this was uh, that's still a time when Newcastle was kind of cool so there you go. The next two believe it or not I got for 20 euros combined still can't believe that uh, it's way too good to be true. This is the United third jersey from war from 2003 to 2006. Uh, yeah, the color is kind of a little bit gets <laughs> gets a little bit lost on there, but I really love the design of this one. Uh, also, the way the sponsor fits, it's really thin material. Um, I love the pinstriping uh, crest on there. Uh, there is an underlying pattern even in there that I'm not sure if the camera will pick up. But it's actually done a really, really nicely. Um, I love this shirt. Uh, this was I, you know, I was looking for a white United shirt. Didn't have anything really in mind. But when I saw this one, especially for that that price, no brainer. So yeah, a United third shirt. Three nine nine shirts for someone who didn't like United all that much. That's a lot. But you know, they're all cool. I gotta say. Correction, make that four United shirts because I have two home jerseys. Crazy. Probably the favorite of them all is the Arsenal jersey that I'm going to show you. Uh, it's the 07 08 third jersey in the same pile. I cannot tell you how much I love this. The color con con combination. Maybe the crest is even a little, little bit off. I mean, if, if they would have made this darker, but there's so much going on here. You have, of course, Memorial to Herbert Chapman in there uh, the gold complements this uh the, the, this color so well and the burgundy and the navy blue it's an absolutely awesome jersey i'm really pleased that i found this one and for that price uh this has been one of my favorite jerseys uh, over the past year not only to have but also to wear because it just looks class yes it has a little bit of a rugby look but i, I uh learn more and more that I really like hooped churches. It's a great shirt. Absolutely wonderful shirt. Hope you agree. And the last one are of course the defending treble champions if you like. And this is also the most recent jersey that, that I got. And it's a player issue. I got this off Wilhelm for I wanna say 30 but it could have been 40. But it's a weapon it. Uh, it is L. Uh, I do fit. Fit in it. It's not that super tight. It's of course the one from the 1819 season where you know the big fight with Liverpool for that champ championship. Uh, I got this ahead of the Champions League final, and funnily enough, I got for Inter, and there is a video up there. A uh, the same Weaponit version, um, same year, same name, Weaponit version, however, in double XL, so that actually makes it interesting. But I really love all the details of the way Weaponit, all these little cuts, little holes in there. Uh, and I have to say this was a jersey that actually uh, I did not dislike, let, let, let's put it that way. I actually like this uh, with the wild pattern up, up there, although you really wonder uh, is there any rhyme or reason to it. But you know, uh, that's what Nike came up with that to kind of sell the weapon it did pattern. Um, it, this is an, of course a functional button, but however the collar doesn't go open. 
don't ask me. It's like the frost shirt, however, kind of reverse colors and so therefore it's interesting as well. I really enjoyed this shirt overall, it will serve me well and this will be now used for the videos for the Premier League. So there you go, the 13 teams that I have in my collection, some jerseys that I chose. I think it's a quite good collection, I have to say. Overall, however, it can be much better, as I said, a definite Brighton. I like the full and brand, brand, Brentford is at, at, at the very least, but you know, uh, others, everything open. And if you see something relatively cheap, just let Lab know, shoot me a message, uh, and let's figure it out. Any case, Lab, let me know what you think about, about this jersey that, that I have here. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.